Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far. I, of course, am off today. It is Saturday. My husband wants to do a couple things to the boat and my daughter is going to just hang around and play with her friends. So I am going to go and run some errands and I always take you guys along with me when I run some errands. You might notice I have a little empty spot right there because I just realized that I have an unboxing that you guys have not seen yet that is scheduled for May 5th. So that is coming very soon. And I actually have the bag on display. I was like, oh, I can't have it on display until you guys see it yet. But I can't wait to actually post that one. So then that way I can start wearing it. But anyway, today I just have a uh, sweater on. Um, I have it in a cream color too. It's just really comfortable. And then I'm going to put on these earrings right here. I got them from Chanel and I really love them. I don't know. I think I've done a reel on this before, but if you have a hard time wearing heavy earrings, you definitely want to try. They're like little patches. They're called lobe wonders. I get them off of Amazon. I've been using them for years because I love Kendra Scott earrings and a lot of times those are a little heavy, but they make it so that your earlobe does not slouch. They're just like little patches. They look like this and you just put it right behind your ear and let it stick for just a second. When you put your earring on, you make sure that it goes through the patch. And there you go, it'll make it so that your earrings just kind of don't droop a little bit. But I just got out of the shower. I still have to style my hair. Tonight, we are actually going to a fundraiser with some neighbors. Their son plays hockey, so they're having a fundraiser tonight. And I just don't know what to wear. She said it's very casual, so it's not dressy. But when I've Googled fundraisers, a lot of them are dressy. But if she said casual, she was like just jeans and a sweater is fine. I think I'm just going to wear this sweater, some jeans, these earrings. And then let me share with you what bag I'm going to wear. Today's bag is going to be my Chanel 19. I purchased this for my 42nd birthday and I have been loving it. I still need to do a review on it, but you can see I love how it keeps its shape. I have mentioned before that I have an organizer and a base shaper. I have coupon codes for both in case you're interested. I'll, I'll list them down below, but you can see I just have an organizer in there and then the base shaper is um, underneath, if you can see it fits in there nicely. And both of these has been, have been great on protecting the structure of my bag and keeping the interior clean. So I will do a little what's in my bag later, but let me go ahead and finish getting dressed. But I think for my fragrance today, I'm going to wear this. This is the J'adore. I really love this scent by Christian Dior. I, who am I kidding? I just love Dior makeup. Do our fragrances, do our everything, do our packaging, do our free gifts. I've done so many videos on my channel, but I love Dior, but this smells so good. It's a little bit fruity and floral. I'm a big fan of fruity florals. Love that. And the bottle's beautiful too. So let me go ahead and get my jeans on and then I'll share with you my whole outfit. Okay, so I have my sweater, jeans, and then I'm going to wear my Veja sneakers. They are so comfortable. I also do have these golden goose but they give me blisters every time so I got to go with the guys that don't give me blisters so I have these and then this bag I am going to wear my Chanel sunglasses that are downstairs and for a lippy today I am wearing this one right here it's one of the new ones I got in the shade orchid it's kind of like a glossy lip balm. Let's get going. I think we're going to get a Starbies this morning. We haven't done that in a while, so let's go ahead and do that. I forgot to mention, I am also wearing this Hermes Kelly wrap bracelet as well. I usually have my greens in the morning, but today warrants a coffee. Let me share with you really quickly what is in my bag. A little sneak peek. I just have this little... Chanel card case. This is where I keep all of my credit cards. I have my Chanel. This is my flap key holder. I have my Chanel small cosmetic pouch. I have my uh, card holder where I have some gift cards. I have Baccarat Rouge and then I have some tamps because Aunt Flo always likes to ruin the party. And then I also have a gift card to Bloomingdale's. It's 75 off a qualifying purchase of 300 not that I'm gonna really get anything but we'll see 
you guys know every time we go to the mall we tend to get in trouble together so <laughs> we'll see but okay let's go ahead let's go to Starbies and get a drink I usually have my greens in the morning but like I said today warrants a coffee what can I do for you? Um, can I please have a tall iced vanilla latte? Tall iced vanilla latte, sure. Um, with one pump of vanilla and one stevia. And You're I'll, here early. I know I'm here early today. <laughs> and then I'll take a, a, that blonde, please. Gotcha. Um, and then do you have any of this cinnamon coffee cake? I believe so. Let me check on that for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have cinnamon coffee. Great, and that's everything. Thank you. Be okay, thanks so much. He said I'm here early because usually I come in the afternoon as like a little pick me up, but today I need my pick me up in the morning. Okay. Ooh, that's really sweet. Okay, I got my coffee and then I have my coffee cake for the ride. Okay, I am here. I didn't drink a ton of my coffee. It's a little sweet. I don't know what it is. Like, no matter how I order it, it usually tastes different every time. So, sometimes I end up just wasting it by not drinking it all. That should be a sign to me that I don't need to go as much. And then I also got one of the cinnamon coffee cakes. I think I mentioned to you guys, I'm not much of a breakfast eater, but because of my um, arm situation, I, I'm on medication, so I have to take it with food. So I had this, and it was good, but there are so many like crumbs in the bottom, as you can see, that I like spilled all over myself on the way there. But hopefully we can find some stuff. I think I'm gonna get pizza um, for lunch, because it's kind of, at this point, like a tradition. So um, let's go ahead and let's see if we can find any goodies. On a run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now. back in the car and oh my goodness they opened a new Christian Dior store it was so beautiful I went in there it was so overwhelming but I did get a little something I'm like I can't drive all the way here and not just get a little something so I will share that with you at the end but I want to get a give a special shout out to Jen she is one of my subbies and she came up to me and she was so sweet so Jen thank you so much for coming up to me sorry if I was a little awkward <laughs> just it's still kind of like weird for me because I don't get like a ton of people that come up to me so sorry if I was a little awkward <laughs> but um, it's so cool like meeting you guys and the fact that there are people that like watch my channel is like still so cool to me so anyway I am going to head back I was in the mall longer than I thought I had pizza it was good I went to Chanel I have to be honest I like the yellow bags I tried the yellow bags on they just didn't look right on me and then I was like how often am I gonna wear it so now my mind has shifted to Dior and all the beautiful Dior bags so I don't know that boutique was so pretty so anyway I'm gonna head home try to beat traffic and I will share with you later what I picked up from Dior so yeah so let's go ahead get going I'll share it with you later hey guys I am back and I wanted to share with you what I got from Dior but I have a little bit of a story time to share with you before I share this item so I left Dior and Dior was a little crazy today because today, either today or yesterday was the grand opening. So it was very, very crowded. So my sales associate, when she was helping me, she was going back and forth between me and someone else and they were just crazy busy. So I leave, I get in the car, I have my item 
I drive probably 20 minutes up the road. Mind you, I live really far from this mall and there was a ton of traffic and all of a sudden I get a call from Dior and she's like, hi, is this Amber? I said, yeah. She said, can you do me a favor? Can you look in your bag and see if there's a credit card in your bag? So I looked in my bag and sure enough, there was a credit card. I guess she had accidentally put the credit card from someone else's purchase in my bag and I said yes it is in there and she's like oh my god are you near the mall can you bring it back I was like well I said I'm actually sitting in traffic I'm like 20 minutes away I was like it takes me a long time to get home and I, I you know I have a fundraiser I have to go to tonight she's like well we need that card and I could tell she was panicked so I was like okay I'll turn around so I had to like go up a little further to take an exit turn around I went back and you know, I gave the card back and they're very thankful. But here's my question to you. So I'm not somebody that, I'm not one of those people that like complains often, but if you guys were me, do you feel like maybe they should do something for me for my inconvenience? Like, and, and I just mean, I, and I don't know what that would be. Maybe like free samples of perfume or something like that. But I feel like, because I came all the way back, gave them, I mean, I could have very, I'm not this type of person, but I could have very easily said, no, I don't have the credit card, you know, or I could have said, no, I'm not going to bring it back. I'm going to mail it back to you. But I turned around after sitting in traffic, went back, risking the, risking possibly being late. I gave it to them. And I mean, they just said, thank you. And then, you know, they, they rushed away. So I personally think maybe there was something else they could have said to me or something else they could have done to me for like the inconvenience but I'd love to get your thoughts down below like how would you feel if you were in that situation I don't know either way I felt like it was the right thing to do to bring the car back obviously it was somebody else's and I can understand how they would be a little panicked but you know the lady when I was on the phone I was like gosh you know I'm kind of far away she's like well we need to get that card it was just you know there was just kind of I don't know uh, anyway I hope you guys know what I'm saying but let me know your thoughts down below so anyway the store was beautiful. I did pick this one thing up and I have the receipt. I also looked at so many beautiful bags. Because I had not really had a Dior boutique, I forgot about how beautiful the Dior bags are. And you may or may not know, I do own the Lady Dior in the large size. But I would love to get a mini size or there were so many other beautiful bags. But I just picked up something little and it comes in this little box right here, packaged so beautifully. And I'm sure you can tell from the box that it is a piece of jewelry. I know, what is my like kick lately with jewelry? Little dust bag. And the item that I got are these little earrings right here hopefully you can see them um because of the lighting if not i will insert a close-up but they're so beautiful i tried them on and i have actually been wanting a pair like this for quite some time but i just because i didn't have a christian Dior near me i didn't want to take the plunge and order them online and you know going into the store you're able to either hold them up to your ear or try them on and these were just so beautiful so these were the ones i decided on i also tried on a pair that were silver and they said Dior and they were beautiful but they were like really really expensive I mean these were expensive as well but those were like an additional $200 and I felt like with these because they had the white pearls that I could kind of get more use out of them but they're so so pretty right so beautiful and I love this look because this big pearl goes in the back of your ear actually let me go ahead and um, take one of my hoops out I will try this little this little bad boy on I think it kind of like screws so see that isn't that pretty so you have like the pearl in the front and then you can see the big pearl on the back and you have um, the CD logo I thought that was so so pretty and just unique I have just been on such a kick lately when it comes to earrings but I got these and then I thought that I would also share with you something that I got in the mail because anytime I get things in the mail I like to share those with you as well and let me take this out all right, so I've mentioned to you guys how I love Lily Pulitzer, but I really don't like buying from Lily Pulitzer unless A, they have free gifts with purchase, or B, they have a sale. They had a surprise sale not too long ago, which I did share with you on Instagram. It was 30% off. So I saw this dress right here. 
The colors are absolutely stunning. It's this fuchsia dress. I will insert a picture or of me trying it on, either one. And I just thought it would be nice for Mother's Day. And the topper, they had some earrings that I got that went. Now, I was a little disappointed when I got them because as you can see from these... They have like the fuchsia color up here and then it is a little more of a purple. I kind of thought that this part was going to be more this color, but I thought that it would pair really nicely with this dress. You guys know me. I am all about color, even though I'm wearing black today, but I'm all about color. Sometimes the more color, the better. And I just thought this would be so perfect for spring or summer. And I thought these would pair nicely. So I probably would not have purchased it if it wasn't on sale, but I got both of these for 30% off. So I will link it down below in case you're interested and I will link the earrings. But that's it, you guys. That is the vlog for today. It might be a little bit of a shorter vlog, but I am getting ready to go to a fundraiser with my husband. We're getting a babysitter for my daughter, so it should be a, a fun evening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and I would love to follow me on Instagram as well, and let me know your thoughts about the whole Dior situation, and if you guys would kind of want them to do something for you, or if they even can do something for you, I would just love to know your thoughts what you would have done in that situation. I only felt it was right to turn around and give that person their credit card, but I feel like maybe Dior could have done something for the inconvenience. I don't know what that would be. I'm not expecting a handbag or some, anything like that, but just something. Let me know your thoughts and how you feel. I definitely welcome your feedback, and that's why I love YouTube, because we can open conversations. So thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.